I've been asked to uh, say a few words to you all about the way the board has been working during our first year of trading. We've concentrated on about four things. Most important, are the patients safe in our hands? Are the staff safe? Do we provide a high quality of care? What do our commissioners uh, think uh, and what does the regulator have to say about us? And are we financially sound? And those are the things we've concentrated on for the last year. And those are the things we discuss with our colleagues in the membership council when we report back to them. For all the time we spend together, forever. It was actually quite encouraging to think, well, I've actually been able to make a decision with my fellow membership council reps but something that's got a fundamental and important part of the running of the business. Our first year, nearly 18 months now I guess, has been about setting up the company and it's been hard work. It's been hard for our staff because they've had to focus on looking after patients and make sure that that care carries on without interruption. And it's been tough for the managers to get systems and processes in place. The CQC have commended us and it is a tremendous achievement for all our staff to have secured that kind of reference from the Care Quality Commission about the experience you can expect at John Taylor Hospice. I would offer my congratulations and that of the board to every member of the staff who contributed to that. So how do we sum up what we do? We use one simple phrase. Every moment matters. And no matter what the day is, with you here, it's better. And in practical terms, what that means when people ask us for help is that we listen and we don't say no, we say how. As an independent organisation, one way of us understanding how we meet our objectives is for us to understand John Taylor Hospice as a brand. How we share our brand and how people experience our brand is going to become more important now that we're an independent organisation because we must work more closely with our community and also better understand our commissioners so that John Taylor Hospice can be supporting the people of Birmingham and the wider West Midlands for another 100 years. We talk about a human touch from beginning to end because the earlier we can start to talk to you, the easier that journey can be. We talk about being tailor-made, a service that fits around you rather than you having to fit around a service. We talk about our company as a little company with a big heart and that's a heart that beats with practical help, creativity, spiritual care, the attention that you need when you need it most. 
and we provide that in a way that we describe as no hoo-ha, no fuss and nonsense. And because we're a community interest company, we have to make sure that we trade sustainably, reducing our carbon footprint, looking at our impact on the planet and in our immediate environment. We can't do what we do without the public. We need the public to trust us, and they have, for generations. We also need the public to invest in us, not just as taxpayers, but by giving gifts to us of their time and their cash. So the next 18 months of our journey is about real sustainability. It's about the value that we can add back into the NHS. It's about the quality of the care that we provide. It's about the terms and conditions in which we invest in our staff to provide that care. And it is about cash, about generating the money to keep doing what we do. One of our founders, Dr Mary Darby Sturge, was not only a Quaker but a suffragette too. It's not hard to imagine that the passion and drive Mary had for social change was at the very heart of the foundations of John Taylor Hospice. Social movements have achieved great change in our society, historically, and that's why using that theory here when developing our workforce is important rather than top-down NHS type initiatives which are often costly and don't produce sustainable change. The reasons why I came to work here were very clear for me. I wanted to be part of an organisation that put the community at the very heart of what they were doing and I realised that potential and wanted to be part of that journey. Um, some staff from day one have been really on the change and understand commercial awareness really easily. For other staff it's something that other people do that they don't have to think about. We know that there's energy and passion in the building um, but what's really important for us is to be able to harness that energy. We do need change. Some of the culture and conditions we've inherited from the NHS do not reflect the equality of a mutual. Our staff feeling true ambassadors of the company, staff that feel able to go out and give talks in the community, to go to fundraising events where people want to invest in John Taylor Hospice of their time or their money, people that feel able to 
uh, write their own trust and grant applications with support from the core team because they understand their service so well and they understand the, the needs of growth of their own service and their passion would be able to come through. So we need to be as lean as we can, we need to not waste a single penny of taxpayers' money, public money, however that comes to us. That staff who've got hidden talents and skills that we've no idea about feel able to share those and utilise them in the company. onwards into the future ever better so that people choose John Taylor Hospice above all others because they know without doubt by working collaboratively with our community, with our staff and with our investors we can grow as an organisation and go from strength to strength to become an employer, an organisation of choice, um, a place where people choose to invest, where they choose to work, develop and grow and that as an organisation we can grow together and be the very best of what we can do.